Hey yo, what's up everyone? It's Anson here from Weekend Garage. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to program your integrated brake controller with Alpha OBD. So first off, what you're going to need to do is plug in the security bypass module, which I'll show you right here. Get one of these security dongles. Turn on the light here. And then uh, up here, you will find two connectors. So up here, you will find two connectors that go right there. I've already unplugged it and they look like this right here. A little focus here. That's what they look like. To take it off, you just gotta press on the end and pull down. They're both a different size, so you won't mix them up when plugging in when plugging it into the security module, which looks like that. I'm gonna include it in the uh, description below. You guys can just click on it to buy. So now we're gonna plug it into the bypass module. kind of hard with one hand there we go they're both plugged in now we're going to plug in the OBD connector onto the end just like that once you've completed those steps what we're going to do next is put the vehicle into run and then what we're going to do next is open up your Android phone, which we're going to use to program. I'm just going to place it down here. We're going to open Alpha OBD. Once you have everything open, it should look like this. We're going to select RAM 1500, body computer. And then your year. So it's connected. And then we're going to hit this right here. The picture with the car head open. Your menu should look something like this. What we're going to do next is click right here. Scroll all the way down. You're going to hit, hit uh, Backup Vehicle Configuration to File. And then Start. Give it about 20 seconds. It'll say Procedure Completed. What this is, it's a backup of your car's original programming. In case you do any wrong steps doing programming, you can always revert, revert it back to the original settings. Or refer uh, to the each programming options and change it one by one if you need to ever backtrack so what we're gonna do next is open up the drop down again scroll all the way down on the bottom you'll see car configuration car configuration change we're gonna hit that select option on this search bar right there I'm gonna type in trailer What we're going to enable is the trailer selected CSM present. As you can see, currently it's no. I'm going to change that to yes. Procedure completed. On to the next. Trailer name CSM. What, what these settings are, it's um, for your infotainment. So when you hit apps, it'll bring up the trailer screen when you program the uh, CSM present. So there's three of these we have to enable. 
Next one is completed. And the third one is trailer type CSM. So we enabled the two up here. Now we're on to the final one. After you do that, we're going to go to the PT chassis nets, integrated brake controller, enable that. Procedure completed. As you can see, after I enabled it, the trailer brake service light came on because I don't have it installed yet. So there's that. What we're gonna do next is turn the car off. Let it sit for a couple minutes, just so the new programming settings will flash through. You gotta wait till this screen turns off usually, which is 10 minutes in my car. Or you can just open the door and then I'll put everything to sleep right away. After a couple seconds, what we're going to do is put it back on run. And then if you go in settings. You should have your trailer brake. Trailer, use this trailer. So let me backtrack in case it wasn't focused. So if you go into settings, trailer brake, you can select your trailers here. You could use it. I can't use it right now because I didn't install my trailer brake controller. But you can change it here. Heavy electric, whatever you want. Rename the trailer. Do all that. It didn't save for me because it's not installed once again. But there you have it. These four steps is what you need to do to enable the brake controller for your truck. Hope this video helped you guys out. Leave any questions or comments down below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.